Hi guys! Finally I'm doing a pocket letter with the sun outside so it's not dark, but let's just get on with the show. I'm going to be showing you a pocket letter that I made for Danny of Pop Fizz Paper. I think this is my third one making for her and only my fourth one that I've made total. For this one I kind of went with like a florally, girly theme. My first one to her was kind of the same, more girly than floral, and then the second one was nautical. So the third one I went with girly. I used a lot of the Planner Society kit, which I always do, but I really loved how it turned out. And you won't be seeing this until she received it, obviously, so I will put a link to that in the down bar. The first thing I'm going to show you is my shaker pocket. This is only my fourth one I've made, but the second one I actually made it into a pocket letter. Um, basically, I just cut her name out on some floral, uh, cardstock, put a black cardstock backing behind it and kind of made it look like a picture. Then I put this little heart from the Planner Society and some confetti. It's not very much, it doesn't shake very much because it's pretty small, but I like how it is and it's pretty unique. I actually made one before this and it looks like that. I really like the gold behind it, but I decided to go with something more black, and yeah. So, um, this one I just put sequins, and then I decided to add glitter, and it wasn't fused very well, so it kind of got ruined. So I don't know if glitter is the best option, but yes. So the first thing I'm going to go through is this top one. This is the card that I made. The paper is from Planner Society. This is from a scrapbooking set. This is from Hobby Lobby. I don't remember what the brand was, but it was on like super clearance. They're just like, I wouldn't say they're wood chips, but they're like, not, maybe not even chipboard, just really thick cardboard. And then it has hearts, it says for real. This is from Snap. The vellum is from Michaels. And then I just made a little flag out of the Planner Society. And then stick them is from the Mombi Alpha set and then Live Creatively I put from the Snap set. So here I'm going to put stickers. Now I know she has her own sticker shop, she uses a lot of her own stickers, but I get a lot of freebies and I don't necessarily use them so I throw them in like my crafts pocket letter section and um, I thought I would include some from some, some from some really fun companies. So Two Little Bees, that's the October freebie. Whimsical Plans, it has like a nice fall color scheme. And then Kina Prince, they are from like Singapore or something, but they have the cutest little icons and who doesn't love icons? So I made a little pocket for these. I'm just going to slip them right in. If she doesn't want to use these in her planner, she can always pass them on, but I have a lot of stickers like this and I want to share the wealth. So we're going to put that in here. And then I have this little book paper clip. I know that she likes to read. I got this in my planner society. It's from Willow Fields. And I'm just going to put that on there. So let's put it in the pocket. It's just a cute little touch and she can use that when she needs to mark when what she's reading or whatever. So the next one, the card looks like this. The background is from the Planner Society. The gold one in the back is from Michaels. Throw Kindness Like Confetti was actually in one of the new Heidi Swap Planner kits. It's the stripe one. It comes with like little cardstock things. So I just glued that at an angle and then cut it at an angle to give like a nice little... I don't know, difference. These puffy one stickers that say fresh and then the heart are from Heidi Swap. I made this little die cut just out of some cardstock and some of the gold that's back here. The take note is from Planner Society. And then on the back it says don't forget. So that's just going to go in here. It's kind of like a little pull tab. Behind there, I'm going to send along some of the Dollar Tree Christmas sticky notes. I have not seen her haul these or anything so I hope she doesn't have them but they're super adorable and season appropriate and it's just on this little card. The funny thing is is she sent me this card in one of her pocket letters so I'm just gonna 
send it back. So I'm going to put that in there. And then I have another little clip just to add a little touch. And it's bright pink. I don't remember where that's from. Possibly her. Who knows? The next card, again, from Planner Society. And then I just layered a bunch of different colors and cardstock. And then put a sticker from the Mombi Happy Planner sticker pack. It says, go forth and set the world on fire. The puffy sticker is from... I want to say Heidi Swap. This is from a die cut kit that I got from Peachy Cheap. This, um, I don't know what, flag in the background. That's also from that Heidi Swap Planner kit and then the die cuts are from a Mombi Alpha set. And behind here I'm going to put a bunch of die cuts. Let me move this so I can show you. I just included a huge variety. I know that she likes to craft and make pocket letters and do other things and I have a lot of die cuts because of that uh, peachy keen kit or peachy cheap kit so I'm spreading the wealth and I'm also including the little cutout letters from her name in the shaker pocket so there's the D the A the N and the I. I just thought that was something a little interesting. And then, like I said, just little die cuts. Birds, love, charge it, busy week. So she can use these in her projects, pass, press them down, whatever she wants. They're going to go in this little envelope from Hobby Lobby. I don't remember the brand, the paper studio. I'm going to seal this with a little sticker that says, This Way to Fun. This is from Snap. And it's just going to go on there and put this behind the pocket. And I also have this little rose paper clip. The rose is from, or maybe it's not a rose, maybe it's just a flower, from the Planner Society kit. And then I just glued it on with some cardstock. I put two layers of cardstock with some E6000 and then I put it in like my little clampy thing for a couple hours, probably like 24-48 hours. So it's nice and tough and I'm just going to put that on there. I can't really get it to stay on this pocket. I'm hoping because it's because the pocket is so full but yeah. The next card I made, again the Planner Society for the background. These are from I believe the first kit that she ever, or first pocket letter she ever sent me. The tag is also from her. This is from that wood chip set. This is a cutout. It came on like a business card size thing from the Planner Society. It says be your own inspiration. And it says chic and a star from Heidi Swap. And it says noms. So behind there I'm going to put a little Charleston chew. And some crack ups popping candy. I had to go to Party City the other day and I knew that I needed some candy for her thing. So I picked these up. I don't eat candy at the moment, so I don't have any like extra laying around. So those were special, specially purchased. My next card, again from the Planner Society, the doily is from a Martha Stewart thing. It's paper, it's not like the normal doily. This wood chip, again, Hobby Lobby, I can't remember the name of the company. The puppy stickers are from Heidi Swap. The heart is from Peachy Cheap. I can't remember what the brand was called. I'm a little puppy. And then these are from the Planner Society. In the back of this, usually I would put a letter, but I'm actually going to do a mail tag. So if she decides to send me another pocket letter, she doesn't have to. It's, she's not obligated. But I just put a little, a few little questions on there, like what's your favorite planning accessory? What's your favorite animal? I would love a blank themed pocket letter. So like if she got a certain theme in the mail, which one would she like be ecstatic about? What's your favorite movie? And here's a sample of my favorite washi. I thought she could put that there and she can include it in her next pocket letter. So I thought that was a little unique from a letter. The next card I, might, I made looks extremely boring because it kind of is, but I used something else as like the foreground decoration. The card 
stock is from Planner Society. The doily is a, is from Hobby Lobby. Can't remember the brand. But basically, I'm just gonna use this washi as like the decoration. So that'll be front and center. This washi is from Planner Society. This is from Walmart. I believe this is from Planner Society. The tag is from Heidi Swap, and then I just put washi from Bombi. I'll put that in there. And then I also made her some samples of this poop washi because not a lot of people have it and it's super unique. And I think she commented on it when I put it on Instagram. So um, she can either use it or pass it on, whichever she wants. It's from Julianne Art. And then also this adorable like woodland creature washi. It's from the Dollar Tree. I only saw it once. I bought it and I have not seen it bef like since then and I don't see a lot of people have it so I gave her a little sample. It has really cute woodland animals on it and snails and fox and mushrooms and raccoons so I thought that was cute. The second to last card we have again P Planner Society and then some cardstock. As you guys might be able to tell now I really love the ripped effect. This card again was like a business card size decoration and under here it says planner society but I just glued over it ripped the sides to add like this little decorative element and then a heart and love this from the wood chip set and back here I'm gonna put some paper not as much as I usually send there's only six here I usually send nine so that you can use them in a whole pocket letter but this gives her a nice variety And then the last card looks like this. Again, Planner Society. Just did some layering of the paper. This is from the Peachy Cheap die cut set. Clips is from Mombi. This little puffy sticker is from the Planner Society. And then this is like a little pocket, which you guys have seen. I really like to do those. Oh, let me put these. So again, I made a little paper clip with some E6000 and some cardstock. This says BU, it's a little like, um, I don't know what that's called, metal piece that I got from the Planner Society. And then a rose that I made, kind of goes along with that, but a larger version. And um, put that in my presser so that hopefully it won't fall apart. But I don't think she uses paper clips. If she does, awesome. If not, she can always pass them on or use them in other things. Okay, so that is the pocket letter in its entirety. Super girly, rosy, and pretty. I really hope she enjoys it. To wrap it up, I have some tulle. So let's see, I'm gonna wrap this around. I'm gonna keep it simple this time, I think. So we're just gonna do this and tie it. Who doesn't like hot pink tool? Let me see if I can put this in a bow. Yay. What I kind of want to do is cut these so that they're just flowing. Okay. Let's cut these real quick. Then I'm going to cut them down to be the same length. Nothing super fancy here, guys. And then I have this from Hobby Lobby. It's by fashion tidbits. It's in their like uh, jewelry section where you can make headbands and stuff. has a little clipper. Just gonna clip this on. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like making pocket letters or you make pocket letter videos, please let me know. I would love to see them and I will see you guys in my next video.